The Gospel for the Memorial of St. Elizabeth Van Seton is taken from St. John, first chapter, 35th to the 42nd verse. John was standing with two of his disciples, and he watched Jesus walk by. He said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which is translated teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother, Simon, and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought them to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. What is it that the Son of God came to this earth, wants us to understand and to know? We're on a journey with him. We stay with him. We stay with his presence dwelling within us. And slowly it has an impact on us, and the impact is that we become someone that we did not yet know. A transformation takes place. It's the most wonderful promise that God has made to us if we simply stay with him, stay with the notion that he is the God who we've all longed to know and to see. Take your time as you listen to these ideas, these thoughts, ponder them in your heart, and recognize slowly how you become a new person.
closing prayer. Father, we often find things that are difficult for us to understand, and then maybe we just push them aside, but the key is to stay with these images that we have been given by God to help us understand our relationship with Him. Keep us from being in a hurry. Give us just simply time to ponder and to wonder and to believe and trust that we are being changed. And we ask this in Jesus' name, amen.